Hey guys, it's Tom from HIDProjectors.com doing a quick tutorial on how to install this wiring harness. I have a lot of questions from guys uh, periodically that say it's a little too daunting so I thought I'd try to simplify it here and uh, show you just how easy it is to install. So the first thing you should do when you get the wiring harness is lay it all out. What you'll see here is you've got a few different components and it's much less intimidating once you've got it laid out on your vehicle. So this is the 9007 wiring harness, it'd be the same for NH4 or for NH13 for e Jeep guys. So here you've got the relay controller. That's going to get mounted on your firewall. That's going to control whether or not your lights are on, if they're in low beam or high beam mode. This part right here for you Nissan guys or anybody with a 9007 is going to plug right into your stock headlight plug. So this is going to interface with your current headlight switch. So every time you turn it on or off, it's going to send the signal down through there into the relay box to tell it to go on, off, high, or low. Okay, follow me along here down this road. You've got a red wire with the fuse. This just goes right to the battery. That gets connected to the battery, pretty simple. Your next connection, these are identical. You're going to have two sets of wires. One's longer for usually the driver's side. This one will probably end up on the passenger side. It's shorter. You have three connections here. This weather pack plug, which is going to plug into your ballasts. You've got a ground. So you need to find a good spot on your body or your chassis to ground that. And you've got your high beam plug. This is going to plug into the, uh, the plug that comes out of the back of the projector. Again, you only plug in one way, and your ballast plug is going to only plug in one way as well. You'll see there's a little clip on top. Exact same thing on the other side, just a longer wire so you have room to route it. That's all there is to it. You guys who um, get angel eyes or things like that, you'll need to find a 12 volt source to tap into for that, but that's a separate tutorial. Um, so for now, I hope that helps. Again, this is Tom, HIDProjectors.com. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, check out the website, leave a comment. Appreciate the, the interest. Thanks, guys.